In this video, we will use a loop to import and average a number of grades. Uh, before we go write the code, let's just take a look at what the final result would show. So in uh, this instance, I'm showing you the designer view in Visual Studio. So let's start up our project. And here it is, it pops up. And you can see we don't have a lot going on here. We just have three buttons and we have one list box. Everything will be done through an input box. All the input data will come in through an input box. When we click enter grade, the input box appears and it says enter a grade or click OK when finished. If we type in a grade, and I'll just do a few here, 89.5, then you can see the grade appears in the list box and the input box reappears asking me to input another grade. I'll input another grade. Notice these are real numbers and I can click OK or I can hit Enter. OK, that grade appeared in the list box. Let's do one more, say 78.6. And I can hit the Enter key or I could click OK here. So I'm going to hit the Enter key and you'll see that that grade appears also. If this were the end, if I only had three grades to average, then I would click OK with an empty text box and then the average would appear in the text box. So that's what this program does. We can input any number of grades and then it will average them for us. Uh, the clear button will clear that out and quit will quit. So here's the form and you can tell by looking at that example that the kind of loop we're talking about here um, isn't going to fit with a for loop very well because we do not know in advance how many grades there will be. So for that reason, we do not want to use the for next loop. Let's double click on the uh, enter a grade function and let's go in and uh, look at the code and we'll actually clear out the code and we'll start from scratch. So let's double click the enter a grade. And here you see the code and let's go over this briefly. Um, as you know, in class, we've had some issues with um, things not being imported and things being handled very strictly. So I am adding at the very top option, strict, off, and import system. And these do need to be in this order. So maybe that'll get uh, uh, prevent us from having some of the errors that we've seen before. I have already defined several variables. Uh, this one is going to be the grade. Okay, the grade is a type string and I've initialized it to the null string. That's what those two double quotes do. I'm also going to count how many grades. If we want to average them, we need to know how many there are. We need to know the total cumulative sum. And then here's the average here. So I have declared the num grades to be a type integer. And these other two, the sum and the average are type singles. They're initialized to zero with the equal sign over here on the right. Uh, type single, you could have equivalently used a type double there. It would be just as uh, work just as well. All right, now uh, let's take a look at using an input box first. I think that maybe this has been presented before, but let's uh, go over it again. I want an input box to pop up on the screen so that I can type in the uh, grade. To activate an input box, we need to have, we don't want that, uh, we need to have a variable that will collect the result and grade is what I'm going to use. The input box is going to give me a string type. So grade equals input box, that's all one word. And in parentheses, we specify the message we want to give to the user. Please enter a grade, period. And inside the quotes, um, I want to also say uh, click OK when finished. That is, you know, when we input all the grades, then we want to click OK with an empty text box. And let's put a title up there in the uh, title bar of our input box. And let's just call it uh, grade average. All right, now let me correct my typing, A-V-E-R. All right, so this will produce an input box. Uh, whenever we type in a grade, we want that grade to appear in our list box here. So let's add a line of code that will uh, 
put the grade out into the list box. So we, it's list out dot items dot add grade. Now just using that much code, let's look at the input box. Then we'll run the program. So the uh, form will pop up here on top of our code. I'll click enter grade. And when that happens, here is our input box. Please enter a grade, click OK when finished. All right, so this is only good for, the, for one grade. Let's just put 98.5, and we can click OK, or we can hit Enter. And then that's all we did. You'll see that the um, grade 98.5 now shows up here in our list box. All right, so that illustrates how the input box works, and we'll just echo that grade back to our list box. Well, that's great. That gets us started. That's one grade, but now we want to have a loop to enter the remaining grades. And remember, we do not know how many grades there will be. So we can't use a for loop here. We can use a while loop, or we can use a do until loop. Let's use the while loop. Okay, while grade is not equal to, that's, let me get the correct symbol here. Okay, not equal to um, the two double quotes together. Okay, then I'll hit enter, and we'll have the end while presented down here. All right, what does that mean? Well, notice when we up here, uh, we say click OK when finished. If we click OK, then there's nothing in the input box. It's blank. So this is saying, while the grade is not blank, stay in the loop. When it is blank, that means we're finished, and we'll progress to the end of the loop down here. As long as we're in the loop, we want to keep input, uh, typing in grades, and we want to sum them up and count them. All right, so let's continue. We've done the first one up here, but we haven't counted it and we haven't accumulated the sum. So inside the loop, let's count the grades. So num grades is equal to uh, num grades plus one. Okay, so we've got one grade, we've counted it. We need to accumulate the sum as we go, so we'll do that in grade sum. So grade sum, and I think that's um, uppercase S. Okay, so grade sum equals grade sum plus the grade that we just read in right there. Okay, so we want to add that grade. So the first time through, well, <laughs> that says guard, doesn't it? Okay, grade. Grade sum equals grade sum plus the grade that we just read in up here. So this counts it, and this produces the accumulative score. Once we've done that, then we do want to print. Well, we did already print this back out. We want to get ready to input the next grade. And we have the code right there to do that. So we could just do a copy, and I want to use a Control-C going to highlight that, control C here, and control V to print it right there. Now we have a loop. So inside this loop, while the grade is something other than blank, we'll count it, we'll accumulate the sum, make a running sum, then we'll ask for the next input, and we'll also print that out to the list box. All right, now after the loop, we do want to compute the average. But we'll come back to that. Let's go ahead and run the program now, and let's look at how this loop accumulates the sum. So I'll start this up, and here is our form. So this will be a, uh, a loop. We'll get the first grade in here from outside the loop. So let's do our 98.5, and we can click OK. And notice now we have the input box again, so we are inside the loop. Okay, let's type in another grade, 88.6, and I'll hit enter this time. And you can see that up here, the uh, previous grade is written out to the list box. We're still in the loop. So this line here is asking us to input our list box. And let's get it back up, there we go. So this will continue. We'll just keep inputting grades and counting them and adding them up. Let's put in another grade, 89.5. And let's put in another one, 
And now let's suppose that's all we have. Suppose we don't have any more grades. So now I can just click OK. And then the input box goes away, but there's nothing at the bottom of the loop to do the averaging. So let's add that in. All right. So we'll clear this out and click quit. Now at the end of the loop, we want to compute the average. We have all the information we need. We just need to take the total sum, divide it by the total number of grades, and we got a simple average. So let's do this. Average is equal to the grade sum divided by the number of grades. Simple average. And then once we have that, we want to output that to our list box. So we have list out dot items dot add. And let's put a little uh, descriptive information here. Average, we'll abbreviate that, equals. And then let's concatenate that with the actual average. So now we'll get average equals and then whatever the average is. Uh, if you wanted to, you could input, um, you could use a format number right there to uh, you know, limit the number of digits that you want to the right of the decimal. But for the time being, let's just leave it. Now let's run the program. And let's put in some grades. Enter a grade, and let's do 98. And let's do another one, 87. Put in another score, 95.5. Okay, about 78.6, 88.2. One more, let's do 99. We did really good on that one. And suppose that's all. We only have those six grades. We've entered them all. Then in order to exit the loop and compute the average, we just click OK. And there you see it, right? So we have the average is 91.05. And again, this part, if you wanted to use format number to cut that down to just two digits to the right of the decimal, you can. And as in fact, let's go do that click uh, quickly here. So that's in our program right before average. Let's type for mat number, right paren, average, comma, two, close paren. And that should do it. So one more time, run the program. Let's put in some grades. Enter a grade, 98.2, 87.3, 90.6. Let's do 100. Good score there, 89.5, uh, 68.2, and 88.5. And let's suppose those are all the grades we have. We'll click OK. And now we see the average is 88.90, so we only have two digits to the right of the decimal. So that does it. This shows then how we can use a loop and uh, let that loop import a number of grades, average them up, and give us the answer over here. And the important thing to remember is it doesn't matter how many grades you have. The program will count them, and it will generate the average for you. So the loop that would be best here is the while loop or the do until loop. So let's clear this, quit, and that will conclude this example.